gained 10 kilos and, um, well, look, and clean and jerking 5.30 on a, a vegan diet? I think this. I think when you're the best in the world at something or among the best, it, you're, everything about you is the best. So your physiology is the best. Your, everything, every, so I think that he could probably eat dirt and still find ways to, to synthesize amino acids from that dirt <laughs> and put on muscle. I just think that you can't look at him as an example of what to do in, in, in certain areas. Be, but when I, I went out to breakfast with him twice when he was here, both times he had chocolate cake. So, I, you know, it, did that tells you something about, uh, and then he trained and was fine. So I, can't, I don't think we need to look at him for diet advice, <laughs> uh, for sure. I think you touched on something, though, that's important for people to, to hear. No matter what. That dude's going to find a way. Yes. And I think that is the one thing that so many young people, so many people new to our sports fail to realize is like, I'm sure it's true for you. I know it's true for Chad. I know it's true for myself. You know, you're just not going to take no for an answer. You know what I mean? You're going to do whatever it takes, however it takes to get there. And so many other people, well, well we're just going forward, kind of like a bulldozer. Other people are like, well, you know, I need this perfect nutrition plan. I need this perfect diet plan. I need a um, training plan or whatever. And Chad and I were talking about like some of the crazy shit that we did when we were younger. What's up, guys? Justin Morgan here, Carved Up Vegan Muscle, coming back at you with another video this week. And that was just the 360 Strong podcast uh, from strongman Chad Wesley Smith and powerlifter... Um, Brandon Lilly interviewing Olympic lifting coach Sean Waxman, and they were talking about Ila Elian there, who I mentioned in a video back a couple weeks ago. It was the video on the Woodstock Fruit Festival and Doug Graham. I was a little more interested in Ila Elian uh, than I was whatever the newest uh, drama in our little community was. Uh, but what I really wanted to focus on there is just uh, uh, what Brandon Lilly brought up. Um, I, I did want to bring out the part where they talked about Ila Elian being a vegan or, or vegetarian or that he's a vegetarian and and how they were, you know, kind of just discussing. The, the most significant part about that, though, was not that he's a vegetarian. It's that he is going to be a successful athlete regardless of what kind of diet program he follows just because he has the drive and the mental desire to do that. And... And I, I think for myself at least, I want to, if I'm going to emulate any aspect of some of the people that I, I view and, and people that I see out there that are um, successful athletes, that's what I want it to be. Um, as, you know, I, I'm going forth competing in strongman now and, and powerlifting, I, I, of course I want to see my total keep going up and, and uh, my ability to perform the the um, events and strongman competition to improve and both in technique and strength um, but primarily I want to make sure that mentally I have that drive to do that that I have the hunger I guess uh, uh, and there's all this crazy um, uh, like motivational like discussions like when you watch like movies like Pumping Iron old bodybuilding type movie uh, with that fo featured Ar Arnold Schwarzenegger and a bunch of bodybuilders from that time and he's talking about, you know, you got to have the hunger. And he's talking about being the, the wolf at the top of the, of the mountain. I, I, don't, I don't know where these guys go with this stuff. But um, that's kind of what I want for myself. I, I want to make sure that I have that hunger and that desire. Um, back, I was interviewed for the Raw and Cooked Vegan um, pot, uh, YouTube channel. And just after my very first powerlifting meet, and they were talking to me about being a vegan strength athlete. And he's like, do you ever... Um, they asked me, do I ever get tired of training? Do I ever have to, like, motivate myself to come in and train? And the answer was no, I, I don't. I, I never have to, like, motivate or push myself to come in and train because I'm hungry for it. Um, if I ever came to a point where this train, coming in here and training and squatting three times a week and um, picking up atlas stones and the log and, and deadlifting and bench pressing and overhead pressing and all that was such a chore that I just didn't feel like doing it, I would quit and do something else because there's too many things out there that I could be doing that I have that drive and that passion for to waste my time doing something that I really didn't feel like. 
Of course, I would probably still do some type of strength training, um, but I wouldn't be interested in trying to compete in it or, or make it a major part of my life if I didn't like it. So as far as competitive athletics go, this is like something that I'm really passionate about, so I have that drive for it, and I, I just have that hunger and desire. I'm going to find a way to be successful at it. So uh, I don't know if there's really a point to this video exactly, but I hope that some of that can be infectious for you guys, that uh, I know some of you out there are listening, you have like that kind of desire, you want to be successful in, in this, even if it's not like a, even if you don't want to compete in it, it's just something you enjoy and you want to do, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, so hopefully that's infectious to you. You you listen to guys like Ela Elian that are, um, have the added um, controversial subject, I guess, that they're a vegan or a vegetarian. And don't let that stop you. Don't, I mean, don't use that and say that you want to be better than everyone else. Like, when I, when I think that I'm a vegan, I think I should be excelling ahead of everyone else because I have that added pressure for performance on me. It's not that it's a better or a worse diet. It's just that I have a stronger drive because I'm representing more than just myself. So, you know, for whatever that's worth, hope you guys uh, enjoy the video. And uh, subscribe to the 360 Strong podcast on the podcast app through iTunes or however you download podcasts. Um, they share excellent information there. And remember to like, subscribe, and comment in the comment section below. You guys take it easy, and I'll talk to you next time.